Lead me, Lord, 739. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for their Lord, for God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled, and the meek shall come to the world. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Be with you Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasure of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. First letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who, by the Lord's mercy, is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress. That is, it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free from a, of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin. Nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you of that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen, Listen to, to me, me daughter, all daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, hear, hear. hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen, Listen to, to me, me daughter, daughter, see and bend your ear. 
how glorious is the king's daughter as she caters her raiment and threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne in to the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, me daughter, daughter, see and then hear. Your ear. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen, Listen to, to me, me daughter, see and take men your ear. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice and leap for joy, your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. As we hear today, St. Luke's Beatitudes, and he has the blessed and the woe. The blessed are the ones who seek the heavenly kingdom, that seek that which is above of above. And even though life here on earth may be difficult, they persevere in knowing that this world is limited and will come to an end and strive for the heavenly kingdom. And then Luke then has the woes, those who live in this world and only in this world do not think of that which is above, which is God. And they who will receive the rewards while here on earth will not receive the heavenly rewards. So it's a reminder for us that even though we live in this world and we're called, like Paul mentions, we live in this world, but the world is passing away and we need to strive for the eternal. So today, as we reflect upon our activities this day, even though, yes, we do the earthly activities, may they be always done with the impulse, the vision of the heavenly kingdom. With the word of the Lord in our hearts and in our minds, let us place our needs before God. For all who serve the church, may God bless them with joy and wisdom as they preach the word of God. We pray. For those who govern, may God's justice be, their, be in their hearts and they may make decisions in the best interest of all. We pray. For those who lack adequate food, 
housing, or security. May God give them strength and provide for their needs, we pray. For all gathered in this faith community, may the Holy Spirit help us grow in faith, love, and charity, we pray. For the safety forces of our cities and for all those in the armed forces, as their duty is to protect us, may the Lord protect them, we pray. For those who have passed away, may they rest in peace in the fullness of God's grace and mercy, as we remember this morning, Jeannie Isabella, we pray. And for the prayers of our hearts. We pray. Eternal Father, all goodness comes from you, and we ask that you look with kindness upon the prayers brought before you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find accept- acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, and so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, once more gave, thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine mercy, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, in whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 739, Lead Me, Lord, 739, verse number 2. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are they whose hunger only holiness can fill, for I say they shall be satisfied. Lead me, Lord, by the light to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today.